New details in the hotel and conference center proposed for the Harrisonburg area. WHSV's Emily Sporn joins us in the studio after getting back from a public input session at JMU. So, Emily, what was the result of the forum tonight? Well, Gloria, Valley neighbors and JMU staff came together to discuss concerns about the project and have their questions answered. And this 205 room hotel and conference center has been dubbed Hotel Madison. It went from a proposed idea on a piece of paper in 2012 to now a plan moving forward two years later, which its main focus is to bring more businesses into downtown Harrisonburg. And Valley neighbors were able to weigh in on how they feel about the project. Well, I think it's a tremendous benefit to downtown Harrisonburg in a number of ways. One, it sits at a perfect location adjacent to the Forbes Performing Arts Center and the brand new Student Success Center and the Duke Fine Arts Building. And so together with this project, you could not have a better gateway into downtown Harrisonburg. And JMU will now decide whether or not to approve the land lease with the developer DPM Partners. Now, if the university does lease the land to them after 50 years, JMU will own the hotel and conference center. And to look at more pictures of what this hotel and conference center will look like, click on this story at whsv.com. Gloria?